We actually do have new merch this time. Uh, we have the new Comfort Colors tees for the uh, Be Good to Yourself in fall colors like light green, brick, midnight, and multi-black. Find that and more at theovonstore.com. We also have some shows upcoming in Las Vegas, October 27th and 28th, Norfolk, Virginia, November 9, and Huntsville, Alabama, November 19, and Atlanta, Georgia, November 29 and 30th. Uh, you can get those tickets, all of them, at theovon.com slash T-O-U-R. Today's guest is out of St. Louis, Missouri, and we're happy to get to spend some time with her. Uh, she got everything going brazy, as they say. Uh, you're going to get to know her just like I am. Uh, we're down here in Miami spending some time with Sexy Red. Where you get this candle from? The candle? I think we got it from uh, maybe home, uh, Black and White. You know that store? No. Or no, it's a... Uh, uh, I don't know. It's like a... I think a woman's store. It smells good. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. I love teakwood scent. You like teakwood? Yeah. That's Dang. like a, a man scent, ain't it? Yeah, it's kind of romantic. Yeah, that's my favorite scent. Like candles or cologne or something, teakwood. Fire. I don't know if I ever worn any teak wood. I should put some on sometime. <laughs> yeah, it's real good. Do you have a lot of candles at home? I love candles. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And what about, um, what about, uh, like, what else do you like to keep at home that makes you feel good? Um, I like candles, air freshener. I don't know, because when you clean up and then you light a candle and then you chill, it just seems Yeah, cool. it feels like you won, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, nice to see you today. Thanks. Nice to see you. Too. You look lovely. Congratulations Thank on you. your success. Thank you. Appreciate your, that. Your world's kind of changing, huh? A lot. Yeah, it is. Is I it kind of scary, to... some of it? Yeah. I ain't used to all this, for real. It'd be I a know. lot tiring, too. People don't realize, I think, your dreams, and then once you get your dreams, you still have to do your dreams. Yeah, you still got to chase them and stuff. Yeah. It'd be a lot that come with this stuff. People don't be knowing, but it'd be... Be a lot of footwork you got to put into it and stuff. Yeah, it's a lot of motion. Speaking of footwork, I saw people on the run from those floods. Did you see those floods ahead in New York? Mm -mm. You didn't when? see it? When was the flood? Oh, they got some wet ass pavement. Look at this shit. Mm -hmm. Damn, when was this? Look at this. this I today. ain't never seen no flood in New York. Look at this shit. The Lord coming for everybody. Mm -mm. Nah, that's crazy. You ever been in a uh, natural disaster? No, hell no. Nah. Uh -uh. But where are you from? I'm from Louisiana. Oh, uh, I'm thinking you're from Miami because I know they be having a lot of shit like that there. Oh, I don't know. -uh. Well, we have hurricanes. What else do we have? Hurricanes, uh, I guess rabies or something. I don't know if rabies. that's Rabies. Or you ever seen like a dog and it bites somebody? In the yeah. yeah. They got a lot of rabies out there? I'd say a decent amount. Oh, Not wow. I ain't never seen nothing like that. Yeah. What it's happened if a dog bites you and they got rabies? Uh, you get sick, you can't drink water, and then you die. You can die. What? Yeah. I'm going to have to look that up. I ain't never heard no shit like that. Rabies is real, honey. Yes. Yeah, That's real. crazy. So people actually was getting bit by dogs and stuff down there? Oh, yeah. That's a thing? Yeah, I, would, I don't think it's super popular, but it's when I was a kid, it was real popular, you know? I'm going to have to look that up when I go home. Well, Rabies. just be careful what you pet, you know, because some yeah. of these dogs got I, it. I don't even be playing like that. Mm -hmm. Did you have any pets growing up? Yeah. What would you have? I had two dogs, yeah. Not at the same time, but we had try to get a dog. And you know how you don't, you young, you don't really take care of the dog. <laughs> my mom would have sold my dog with her on my back. I was hella mad. <laughs> Came home from school, I'm like, where my dog? <laughs> <laughs> where my dog's at? <laughs> she, I still think about that, man. She dead wrong. She sold two of my dogs. Ain't tell me. Damn, were you a bad owner, though? Yeah. Yeah. I used to try. I was a kid, though. I used to be trying, but it wasn't like. I didn't know what I was doing. Like, I remember I had took a string. It was a thin string. 
And I used to walk my dog on the string and the little thing, I, I don't know, I'm thinking about it, that motherfucker was just choking him. And he was stuck all in his hair. I ain't know what I, <laughs> I ain't know what I was doing. I thought I was doing something, man. Yeah, you was trying though. Yeah, I was trying. That's the effort you put in. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I was talking, well, YG came on the show and I was asking I him, I said, who's the lady who's doing well in the rap? Uh -huh. And he said, uh, oh, he said, sexy, sexy rig going brazy. I seen the interview. That's what he said. You're funny. He is funny. <laughs> no, I, I said, you funny. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, he's funny too. He's kind of quiet though. He is. I think he's a little quiet, but um, but he was nice though. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I saw you and I was like, oh, I need to talk to this lady. Period. Thanks for having me. I appreciate that. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Um, so so you grew up in St. Louis. I know that. You said your mom was at home. Mm -hmm. what, what else was it like? I got siblings and stuff. It was it was cool. Like, I had a cool little childhood. It was fun. But you know, like, being in a, in a single parent household, you don't get all the stuff you want and stuff. Uh-uh. Yeah. Well, I got a lot that, of hand-me-downs when I was growing up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, uniforms, <laughs> shoes, all that. But... I don't know. That's just what how it is dealing with a single parent, I guess. Dude, my mom dated this guy. He was like a mechanic or something mm -hmm. for a while. And then two years later, I'm wearing his shit. Uh-uh. Uh, yeah. Not the mechanic law. <laughs> it said Mr. Mike on the pocket. Is you for real? <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I hit like a gross spurt and he was gone and I was still wearing his shit. Yeah, That's I felt, funny. I felt like I was employed. I wasn't. I was just in ninth grade. And he had a, uh, it was a mechanic shirt. Yeah, he worked at like a- And he uh, was wearing it like it was a shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was kind of cool, but still, we just had it, and it made me, and then my mom got upset because uh, I guess she it, things didn't end well between them or whatever, but. She got mad at you for one. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, why you got his shit? I was like, well, we still had, you know. I did. But I was happy to have it. Um, did did your mom date when y'all were growing up? What was that like? Yeah, she used to date, but not like that. But we, I did have a stepdaddy, like, for a while, but he had got killed, like, when oh. we was younger. Yeah, they was going together for seven years. And it was like like, you know, somebody we looked up to. He he changed our life for real. Really? Yeah, he turned us up. He used to um take us like out of town shopping. All he had all cars. He just was like fun, like a fun parent. Yeah. Like, yeah. And he was so nice. That was oh. my step did yeah. And how did he pass away? He got killed. Nuh uh. Yeah. Just in a neighborhood or something? He had a house and they came. Thank you. He had a house and they came and knocked on um his door and killed him. His his friend, they begged on him. Yeah. Damn. And so does that kind of stuff happen a lot like in the the hood or the trenches? People say that a lot. Is it Hell really yeah. that scary? Yes. Them the people you gotta look out for, like your friends or people cool with you. Cause them be the ones that's easier to come kill you. Like you know you gotta watch out for an enemy, so you're not gonna let the enemy near you. Right. It be your friends, the ones you gotta really look out for. That's the snake. Mm -hmm. it be, it's big out there where I'm from though like everybody get killed by their friends gosh dang it yeah back dog I wouldn't I, I, yeah I don't know if I would have any I'd just make friends online then <laughs> so online you can't trust them they be crazy no, that's true but still you don't know who you mean online man you can't get shot on zoom though yeah yeah somebody can't you can't get popped off over FaceTime you know yeah um so what about whenever like you started dating? I know you talk a lot about. I've heard you talk about anyway that you have a boyfriend that's in prison, right? No, I ain't got no boyfriend. Oh, you don't? That's, no, that's my baby daddy. Oh, your baby daddy's in prison. Yeah, we're not together though. That's just my friend. Oh, I see. Yeah. What was it like whenever you first started dating and stuff like that? Do you remember like the first date you ever went on? Yeah, yeah, I remember the first date I went on. It's just about like the first day ever in my life. Yeah, like uh. Yeah, I think so. Like I remember my first date. I was I was I went to McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah. I was young though. And we just went to McDonald's, got some little McChickens and fries and stuff. And we was like chilling. And that was my first boyfriend. Really? Yeah. Y'all sat inside or outside? We were sitting in the car, but it was like a day like oh, we yeah. was like it was my friend and her little boo. Cause they was they was friends, and then me and my friend. And who had the car? One of the dudes? No, nah, my friend, my homegirl had. Oh the car. dang! Yeah, she went to go pick them up, and then that's feminism right there. That's <laughs> girls changing the game if women are picking you up. I know, but it be, it's like that where I'm from. Like the girls is the ones that get money. They're brave, huh? Yeah, they get the money. They hard workers. Mm -hmm. The niggas live off the girls where I'm from. Oh dang! Are yeah. they doing that? Yeah, that's a big thing out there. And when does, is that, do you think it's just, why do they do that? I think they just take, trying to take it too easy or it's just part of the culture. I think 
girls is like we the real hustlers out there. Like the dudes be trying to hustle, but they always say it's easier for us to make money. They be like, it's easier for girls. Y'all can do. Y'all can go sell some coochie. Y'all can do this, do that. Boys be nice to y'all, but us, we gotta get it how we live. You know. Yeah. It is kind of like that. They, feel, you know, you know what I'm saying. Do you feel like girls got it easier than boys? Sometimes I think these days with like women can do. I think I guess if you want to do like OnlyFans stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Well, or mom, be a stripper. Or like, be a stripper. That's true. My prostitute. mom's from the Midwest and she's hardworking. I'm from right? the Midwest. Yeah. Where your mama from? She's from uh, Illinois. She's from like outside of Peoria. For real? Yeah. But she's always been a hard worker. That's a, the hardest working man I've ever known is my mother. That's what I always say. Man, that's how I be. That's how I was with my mama. Like she was a real hustler for real. Like when I had my stepdaddy, she was doing work and stuff. And then even after he died, like I could tell it was hard on her, but like. She was just like the man of the house type stuff. Yeah, my mom still, she drives for Amazon. She does like deliveries, you know? Yeah. She used to deliver newspapers when I was young and she fucking throw them bitches, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Bro, one of her arms was so big, bro. For real? I said, don't you hit me. You lying. Uh -uh. I said, don't hit me with you that. You was lying. Uh -uh. I said, don't hit me with that newspaper. So she got arm. stronger with one of her arms? Yeah, that bitch was big. You boy. lying. Uh -uh. <laughs> she was pretty, it was pretty big. Yeah. Dang. That's kind of tight, though. And that's the one I knew <laughs> if I was misbehaving a little bit, I would get this one. I didn't want to get over the So that's side. the one she was throwing the mill with. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's tight. She would throw them out the window. That's tight. <laughs> Dude, I remember when my mom got a new car one time. She got like a, it was called a Dodge Neon, right? Mm -hmm. And we were so excited, man. Me and my brother, we went and slept in the car that night. Really? Yeah. That's what's up. Because it was just so clean in there. Period. Yeah. That's how I be. Yeah. How old was y'all, though? We were probably... Yeah, I was young. Yeah, maybe nine and eleven or something. Oh, that's cute. You yep. know how when you older and you get a new car, you just want to sit in there all day. Even when you done driving, you just sit in there listening to music. Yeah, yeah. Anything, drink, smoke. The plane, I like being on. Some on an airplane, I don't even want to get off. I just let me just stay on the plane. For real? Yeah, just like I just want to sit in here. It's peaceful. So you like planes? When it lands, when it lands, when we get there. Uh huh. Sometimes I don't. And everybody get getting off. Yeah. <laughs> I'll like, be the bye. last one getting me off. Me too. <laughs> I said, bye, everybody. I do that, too. They be like, you need help? I'm like, mm-mm, go ahead. Yeah, I need you to leave me alone. Right. That's, I need That's all God. I be the last one getting off every time. Um, So you went on a date. Y'all went to McDonald's. And was that like your first love, you think, or no? Yeah, it was my first love. It was. Love. Yeah. I missed the – dude, I, that's one thing I miss about, like, growing older is – I try to – sometimes I try and replicate that same thing that happened when I was a kid. I can't – it's it, it, you can't really do it. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Like that feeling. Oh. But I was dumb, though. Really? I was dumb, yeah. You know how you you got a first relationship. You don't really know how relationships go. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, yeah. You don't know it, anything that's going on. Yeah, you on. don't know nothing. So you new to all this kind of stuff. Like, yeah, you you're get dumb. lied to. You don't even know when you're getting lied to because like, it's like, I'm new to it. I ain't never had no boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah, he used to be. He was, he was a bad boyfriend? Mm -hmm. mm. When I got older, I realized. I was like, dang, I was letting him do me like that. And I didn't know. I used to be dumb just believing him. I couldn't believe how dumb I was. Well, part of, I think, part of being in that kind of love is you have to almost be, we almost have to be dumb in a way. In a way, we're dumb. <laughs> like, not in a bad way, but like, we're we're naive. Yeah, that's what it is. You know, it's like, it's almost like a beautiful type of dumb, really, yeah. because you... You want you want to be in love so bad you're willing to yeah. believe anything. Yeah. Um, my mama couldn't stand him either. Your mom didn't like him? Mm -mm. Damn. Cause he was older than me and she just like, you know how your parents know the person ain't right for you? Yeah. So she didn't like him. Cause I didn't know. I'm just thinking like trying to take up for him and stuff. She like, no, that ain't how I go. But I didn't know that though, cause this this my first relationship. Yeah, you think he's a he's the he Clint, he's the Denzel Washington. Yeah, you know? I'm like, he he I just was like He's forgiving. a hero. I was forgiving him for dumb stuff. And my mom would be like, no, that's wrong. Yeah. My girlfriend, I remember, she was strong, boy. She was. God, she so was. Was she strong. experienced or something? I don't know, but she was stronger than me. What you mean strong? She was strong. Physical or like Yeah, she was pretty physical. She played, I think, maybe baseball, you For know? Real? She was and the bus would come and pick us up after school at the end <laughs> of school. And she would my brother and his friends, they were at the older school. Uh -huh. So they would already be on the bus. Yeah. And they come pick me up. Uh -huh. And she would pick me up and fucking kiss me. Stop goodbye. playing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How old was you? I don't know. Not old enough to tell her to put me down, you know. For real. You yeah. were just letting her do it. <laughs> I didn't know. She, it was the first girl that liked me, so I was just so I'm excited. Dead. 
Yeah. yeah. Was she she was older than you or she was one year older. Um, but at that time, that's a lifetime older. Yeah. When you're when in you seventh young, grade, somebody's in eighth grade, that's a whole that's another universe. Yeah. My boyfriend, he was like, I was 15, he was 17. So to my to my mama, there was something made to she like. He experienced and yeah. you just like dumb to the dumb to the situations. Yeah, he's thinking about sex probably. He's thinking about He was in the streets too. He was bad. Oh really? Drugs and stuff, yeah. Oh damn. He was bad. And did you have to do drugs or no? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> he I think uh we used to be smoking together and stuff. Oh though. yeah, that's like, kind of romantic though. Yeah, I liked it. We didn't have a lot of the cause I grew up in our town was pretty much just kind of black and white mm. children. And a lot of the black girls was more experienced, I think. <laughs> what you mean? They just were more. I was always like intimidated by them. Really? They he, was grown. Yes. <laughs> they, they'd have a girl. One girl asked me for child support one time in the eighth grade. What? I'm not even kidding. Like, how do yeah. you know about all that? <laughs> That's what I said. That's how it be, though. In them households. It them seemed black too household. real, some of them. Yeah. That's how it be, though. When you growing up in a black household, you kind of learn stuff fast because you probably got older siblings or older cousins. Yeah. And they just teach the young kids like early. It'd be like that. Yeah, and if your parents aren't home, that's a you just learn it from the streets. You learn it from whoever's around. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, and that ain't good though. We were always learning, I guess, sometimes good stuff, but mostly just trouble. You find more trouble, I think, if you if you if your parents are working. Yeah. Where did your mom work at? She was a nurse. Oh, really? Yes. She used to be at work all day. All she wore was scrubs and crocs all every day, all day. I was like, man, I can't wait to get some money. I'm going I'm to buy my mama some new clothes. I'm going to do this. Because I just hated seeing her wear the same clothes every day. Oh, yeah. And I know she didn't really have it. Like, she had spent her last on us, but still be wearing the same scrubs. Like, that was her really, like, oh. an outfit. I hated it. I used to be feeling bad for her. She loved y'all, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And does she live? She still lives in St. Louis? Yeah. No, she live with me. She does? Well, we got a house in Miami. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. She quit working? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I heard her. You heard her, yeah. Yeah. Just hired her to be her mother. That's the best thing. Exactly. She can chill, watch her grandkid, you know. Yeah, you have a child, right? Mm -hmm. And his name Chucky. That's a good name for it's him. It's not man. his real name. It isn't? No, his real name Charles. Yeah, but Chucky kind of. Well, Chucky's another sexy red, if you know Chucky the uh, little doll. It matches his personality. It does it really? Yes. Everybody that meet him be he like. He wild. He got a shank on him? He's bad. Dang. My son bad. It's not even funny. Like, he better than the other kids I know. Everybody that meet him, yeah. he's going to pull up the Chucky down. He That's that him. Bad, huh? It look a little like him, too. Oh, come on. I'm not even playing. Like, everybody that meet my son be like, he act like the real Chucky. He's bad. <laughs> He acts like he's been here before, huh? Yeah, he do. He grown. Some children are like that. Yeah. Man. My mom be like, this little boy think he's 22. And if I call him a baby, he only two. He be looking at other little kids. He be like, that's a baby. And they be his age. And then I tell him, come on, baby. He be like, I'm not baby. I'm big boy. <laughs> Damn, he riding, huh? Yeah. You got kids? I don't have any yet. I well, got to find a wife here. Yeah. A wife. So you ain't on a wife ready. to have some kids? I think I want a wife. I, could get, I guess I could just get a baby mama, but... I've never thought about that really. Is it, is that, you think it's a better way to do it? I mean, if you want to get it over, like, you don't got to be married to the person you had kids with. Cause I don't know, it could just be like a good friend of yours. Y'all have kids together. Y'all still got their friendship by and just help each other with the baby sometimes. Like, yeah. You know, I've thought about that because sometimes it, it seems like almost a better relationship because then you don't have to have the relationship involved. Mm -hmm. If you both know you, you're going to want to care about a child together, yeah. then you can do that. But it's cool, too, if you can have a family, too, because that's fun. Like family time. I think time. it'll be fun, yeah. Yeah, so a wife with a kid is not bad, but it's not bad also if you was to have a kid with somebody that you was like in love with or something. That ain't bad. Yeah. I think I got to, I mean, part of me, I think I got to get a better relationship just with myself still. Yeah. And uh, and you got to find the right person too. You can't just be having babies with just. Uh-uh. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I've been thinking about it. You got to so, make sense. I think it'll happen sometime in the next couple of years, but. For real? Yeah. I got to pray about it too. Make sure I get sent somebody that, that I'm going to also be able to be good to because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Period. I'm glad you think like that because everybody don't think like that. Yeah, I think it's hard in this world too. People get, everybody gets so caught up. Yeah, you for know? real though. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Yep. Sex, people are doing it. You can do it. 
if you want. And if you have trouble doing it, that's okay. There's a lot of people that have. Christopher Columbus apparently had trouble. And it's everywhere now. Even in the desert, people are struggling to get erect. But you can bring the heat in the bedroom thanks to Blue Chew. It's a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra. Hey, girl. But in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. The tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at bluechew.com. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code Theo at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code Theo. To receive your first month free, visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Keeps. That's right. You want to keep your hair? Well, it makes sense. A lot of us do. Keeps can help. Yep. Get expert care for hair loss from the comfort of your home without ever visiting a doctor's office or pharmacy. All treatment plans are personalized to address your unique needs and recommended by a licensed medical provider. Treatment is delivered right to your door on your schedule. That's the truth. Keeps offers both of the FDA-approved hair loss treatment option, as well as a two-in-one gel mm, that combines both treatments. Thank you, Keeps. To date, Keeps has helped nearly one million men keep their hair. They're doing it, and you can do it. Hair loss stops with Keeps. For a special offer to get started, go to keeps.com slash Theo or click the link in the description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash T-H-E-O. Whenever you started getting busy, what was kind of the scariest thing? Like what's something that's been a little bit kind of like, I mean, I know you said the work schedule is a lot. Being around a lot of people. I don't like that. I know, huh? I'm really shy in real life. So when I got to meet all these people and be in big old crowds, I don't like that. I don't like attention like that. Are you amazed how it goes from like, because you just try something, you put yourself out there, right? Mm -hmm. um, jugs. What's one of your first videos? Jug? Jug? It's called Slide. Right. The yep, Slide. Right. The one where you're in the neighborhood with the gun? No, nah, that's that's a thousand jugs. That was that's, my that's, second video shoot. That's oh, yeah. it's hilarious <laughs> and it's perfect. That's but isn't it crazy thing. how you if you just try something, mm -hmm. how big it can get? Does that amaze you almost kind of? Yes, because I wasn't trying to rap. Like I was just doing some stuff. Like the first song I made, people was telling me go to the studio and make a song, and then I just really did it just to do it for me and my friends. Then everybody heard it and was like, send me this song. And then they was just sending it around the city. Then they wanted to start playing on the radio, booking me for parties. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> then I didn't make no songs after that. I just was like, I was making little songs, but they was just strictly for me and my friends. And then that's when they just like really started booking me. And it's like, you a rapper now. I'm like, I'm a rapper? I didn't know I was no rapper. So that's how they came about. And then sometimes I won't even do songs. He gonna pull it up. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty. That's you. <laughs> oh my God, that's a mess. You're beautiful. Oh Lord, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> I look the mess. You're a pretty young lady. I, I mean, the pistol, the, the, you know, as long as the safety's on that thing, I'll pull yeah, up. Yeah, you funny. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice. Um, so then when did it start to shift where it really started to like, uh, where people started to be like, oh, this is intriguing. I want to know more. Like, when did it start to kind of shift? On that video, it was going viral. And then I had a third song called Chicken Chicken. That went viral too. Like, but they used to be talking stuff, but some people be like, this is this is who we want. Like, this is kind of music we've been waiting on. Cause I guess they be saying, don't nobody make music like how I make music. So yeah. And how do you think you make it? Like what's unique? I don't know. I'm just myself. Like they be saying it's vulgar, but I just speak on what a lot of people be wanting to say, but they don't say it. I don't know. I guess that's the thing. 
And maybe it's like where I'm from too, because that's the sound from where I'm from, you know? Yeah. I got my own style, but you know how it's different sounds in every city? Oh, yeah. So I got a St. Louis sound, I guess. Something different. I think there's something, when I listen to you, I like, I, I it makes me, there's something intriguing that makes me want to get to know you, mm -hmm. I feel like. Yeah. You know, it's like sometimes you listen to people and you love the music and you yeah. love the beat. Sometimes you love the lyrics. And I think there's there's elements of that with you for sure. But then there's something about you. It's like, who is this lady? I'm dead. That's what people be saying, but I don't be, sometimes I be wondering what's to me. Like, I look <laughs> in the mirror and just stare in the mirror and be like, why do people mess with me? What's, what's up with me? Like, I don't know. I always been a likable person though. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Either you liked me or you was hating on me because like I was just cool. Like I Because you secretly liked me. Yeah. yeah. Oh God. Like it had been girls that wanted to fight me. I look better than them or something. Like they'd be real ugly, but ugly and want to fight me. And like, what you want to fight me for? What do I do to you? <laughs> I don't be on there. Like I be chilling. I'm not a problem starter for real. Really? I'm not. I'm nonchalant. Like I'm really quiet. Like I told you, like I don't be. So if somebody miss, like if I get in a fight and they, that mean they was messing with me, like I don't be on it. Okay. Yeah. So you're not going to start it probably. Mm -mm. I'm not no problem starter. What, uh, what's like a hobby or something that you have that people maybe wouldn't think that Sexy Red does? Um, I like to draw. I know how to paint. I know how to sew clothes. Yeah, my mom taught me how to sew. For real? Yeah, bro. That's like some back in the day stuff. My shit look bad, though. I'll be honest. Bro. Oh, you don't know how to do it that good? Oh, I'd have a shirt and it would look like a damn vest. I stitched that bitch I'm up. I'm dead. <laughs> I show up like that. It look like a damn, bro. I make a sweatshirt look like a damn tuxedo, bro. My shit was bad. Man, I was good for sewing some stuff back in the day. I used to make pillows, blankets. I used to like... If the shirt was too big, I could hem it on the sides, make my jacket tighter. Like, I'd be on it. So you like doing it? Mm -hmm. I love to make clothes. And yeah, you yeah. like, so if you're making clothes, then you probably, it's kind of like you're making style. Yeah. Yeah. So you've always had your own sense of style. Hell yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I was uh, in a fashion class, too. And I was like the best in class, like the number one, you know, the top fashion yeah. person. I mean, you have to be. Yeah. You I'm know. just unique. I already know I'm unique. Like, people be trying to make fun of my style, but I like when people dress how they feel. Like, they go with their mood. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think black people, are they dress the most exciting. Yeah. Damn, you see I think it. white people do too, though. I think it's, it's growing. It's getting better. No, they be just like... When I was young, like Lady Gaga, Katie, like they oh, used to be dressing- Oh, that's a good point. Crazy. Exactly. They be dressing crazy. I didn't think about that Jared Leto. You ever yeah. seen him? No, I don't even know who that is, but I'm just saying like- Oh, yeah. He was back in, the, back in the day. Even now, like they be dressing. Oh, uh, him. He wild and yeah, he always See? got something crazy. Oh, I do know him. He's a unique dude. He's that's, a cool he guy. Was, um, he was a joker. Mm, that, he was he might have been. He brought his own head over there. He was a joker, yeah. Yeah, he's been in some. He's been in a lot of films, but uh, he yeah. always dresses pretty wild. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like white people be dressing wild, but I like their style. I think it's grow. I think it's uh, well. You see, a lot of styles are starting to merge too because. What you mean by that? Like they got now white and black people. I think are there's so many people got are mixed. Mm -hmm. You know, like when I was young, that people weren't as mixed, but they was like, like you'd hear like wiggas. You ever heard that term back in the day? Wiggas, you know? White and black people. Yeah. Mixing. Or yeah. blonkies, you know? No, I never heard blonky. Yes. Yeah, like like a, a black hunky. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Like a black dude that's trying to be white. Like this Chet Hanks right here. Uh-huh. What did he do? He would be like a, like a wigger, I guess, back in the day. He, oh, that mean like a white person trying to be black? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they used to have it. I'm dead. And him, Bill Maher. Where he, where he is? He just dates a lot of black girls. So For I think they would, he would classify, yeah. He might like the culture. He, yeah, he, I think he likes it enough. He dates, I think he, he likes to date black women. He don't even look like he date white, uh, black women. <laughs> he don't even look like he date. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, yeah. I got a, can you show me a picture with him and some black girls? Yeah, let's see who we got. Bill, uh-uh. That was his ex-wife, huh? Hell no. Okay, I can see it now. He happy. Yeah. Uh, Bl uh -uh. Black girls stronger too, I think. You think so? Yeah. You dated some black girls? I um I been I have been with a black woman. Yeah. Yeah. And I yeah, I support it. Or he do he date black people. Michael Rappaport, he was just kind of like a he was like one of the OG kind of wiggers back in the day. Yeah, he do act black. Yeah. Yeah. Was he a comedian? Uh yeah, he is a comedian. Yeah. 
But you comedian. said you dated a black girl before? And an actor, yep. Did you like it? Yeah, I, de I think there was, I, I definitely did. Was it fun? Yeah, it's I think interesting. she only went like on two dates with me. So I think if I went on more dates with her, I think it could have been fun. But it's funny because I think I used to didn't think about it. Mm -hmm. And now I think about it more. I think that's one thing about just growing up and about like experiencing more stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah. you start to be open to more things. Yeah. Was it interesting when you was dating her? Yeah. Yeah. And she had nice legs, too. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, What's she nice was legs? interesting. Yeah. Everything was interesting because it was like a new type of person. Yeah. I'm like if you you're sitting there next to somebody that's like a different culture and you're not used to dating them. Dude, it's a whole, it's like being at a, uh, it's like walking into a new building or something. Yeah, you know? I know what you're saying. It feels, it yeah. feels, it a was new, real interesting. Yeah. What you mean nice legs? What you consider nice legs? She had strong legs. For real? Yeah, she had really. Was just, they long? They was just long enough, you know. She could stand, she was on them, you know. <laughs> she showed, you know, they was holding her up. Yeah. And that's, I don't know if that's a wig. You think Cruella DeVille? I don't, maybe. She not real. But she was, she, she, I think she's real enough, though. Really? She was raising dogs at the house, too. That counts. If you breeding dogs at the house, I think that that counts, too. I'm dead. What that is? This is me right here, actually. They pulled Where? this one up. Where are you Bottom at? Bottom left, boo. You lying. Come on. Hell no. Nah. That you was look like it, the boy. dude off um, Twilight, Twilight Zone, the wolf. Oh, damn. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Y'all know think. what I'm talking about? The man, yes, that's oh, what you look a little like bit. Him. He got better teeth though, and he you he, looked like him. Yeah, you right. Never mind. You right as hell. That's me. Yeah, with the ears <laughs> yeah, and everything. Me. You look like him. Oh, you right. Okay, I see you. I see me okay. too now. I'm gonna change. You look them. nice. How old was you on there? Thank you. I was probably let me see, probably thirteen or really? something. Really, you look grown as fuck. Well, I had to be in this group. You had Don Galatis right there, top right. He would probably. 27. Damn, and you 13? This was junior high. Yeah, they put anybody on that bitch, I'm boy. Dead. Everybody in that motherfucker. That's funny. They had us all. <laughs> Jonathan Smith, I used to ride my bike. He would get on the back of my bike. Which one? One, number 19. For he real? Would, yeah, he was probably 31 <laughs> feet tall. I'm He'd dead. get on the back of my bike when I was riding to make me ride him into school. Oh, dude. Yeah, That's that was funny. fun. Period. I liked growing up there. I grew up, our town was pretty small. And we are like a lot of black people and stuff. Yeah, it was just like a good mix, you know, but they didn't have, I don't think, they didn't have a lot of, a lot of the kids would quit after like eighth grade. I think a lot of them got either, there wasn't as much like black people doing like a lot of stuff like they are now. What you mean? You know, they just weren't as. Advanced. Advanced probably. Yeah. You know, they, they wasn't back in my day either though. Yeah. Like, it's just, but it's just, just starting to change. Do you yeah, think it's starting it to change? Hell yeah. Cause nowadays you see a 19 year old, they be rich wearing Rolexes to school and designers. And like when I was that age, that wasn't the thing. Like uh -uh. it was hard to get a lot of money like that. Yeah. They scamming and everything. Yeah. People finessing everybody. Yeah. They be grown. Yeah. Fast. When I was a kid, yeah, they had, we had a black teacher named Miss Smith and, mm. and then we had, uh, but they didn't have a lot of black people doing like big jobs. You know, and now ever, I feel like anybody could kind of have any job. Yeah, me too. You know, yeah, it's definitely. changing a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, when you, uh, what was your first job? Uh, it was a job called Convergence. It was a call center. Yeah, my sister worked at a call center. That shit's wild it's in there. It's fun at a call It's like <laughs> yeah. high school. I knew I wasn't finna be flipping no burgers or nothing like that. Or, no, I can't see you doing it. No, I couldn't. I'm too lazy. I, so I, I wanted to have a sit down job yeah. and just ask the moms. <laughs> Did you have that little mic thing like that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I knew I had a house. I had a little apartment and I was doing her. And then I'm like, I'm going to get a job too so I can save my her money and do what I want to do. And then just spend my work checks on, you know, my bills and stuff. So that's, that's cool. the only reason I got a job. So and I had a house. What do you think, like, what skills are, like, what ambition, where do you think some of that comes from? Like, your ambition in life and stuff. Because I ain't have it when I was young. Yeah. So I used to be like, man, watch, when I'm able to get my own money. Like, when I turned 15, no, I, I was younger than 15. I started doing her in middle school. Like, girls coming over my house, because I used to do my own hair. And girls start wanting their hair done, so I'm charging $10 to do hair. Yeah. Th Anything, $30, just do a quick weave. But then oh. I started progressing, and you know. I finger weave a thing. sideburn for $10, boo. <laughs> for $2. Yeah, oh, God. That's how it was. Like, just doing some shit. 
And that's how, cause I'm like, man, I want I wanted the clothes and stuff. I wanted new shoes. I wanted to be, you know, all the kids was coming to the new school year with their new stuff. I'm like, yeah. I want some new clothes too. Yeah. So I just started doing her and making money. Dude, pulling up at school with new clothes on, there was nothing like that. Mm-hmm. Looking clean, boy. But you had do you remember times where you couldn't get new clothes? Like going to the new school year, you had to wear the same clothes from last school year? Well, I remember the second day of school was when I struggled because I had to usually make the pants from the first day. I had to bring them back on day yeah. two. And, and I had to convince people these were yeah, different like, pants. Yeah, like these ain't <laughs> like the same school pants from last year. Baby. I'd write different pants on the leg of them. Really? <laughs> yeah, you yeah, lying. I swear. Uh-uh. I'm lying, I'm lying. <laughs> But that'd be crazy, bro. And the shoes. Like, you got to make sure you got all, uh, enough pair of shoes for their first week of school. My brother and I would switch sometimes. So when <laughs> I got his, mine would be big. You know, he was a little older than me. So. For real. But I'd be like, these different. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Big, I'm like, this, these different. Me and my sisters used to swap shoes, too. Yeah, oh, it was God. fun. Yeah. Um, what about, so now you have nicer things. Was it kind of scary getting nicer things or you were ready for it? Um... Because you kind of start to leave, like, once you get some money in the world, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that you have a ton of money. I don't know anything about you. I mean, I know that you're doing well, right? right. You're doing well enough you can pay your mortgage. Hell yeah. But once that starts to happen, you kind of start to leave where you're from in a way. Mm -mm. How do you keep from not doing that? I'm still there. Uh -huh. I'm cheap. I uh -huh. still be... <laughs> I go to Rainbow, <laughs> City Trends, and all that stuff. I shop at beauty spas, get clothes. I don't care. I go to the thrift store. They got some look cool, you know? I don't, I don't like discriminate. Like if I see something cute in Walmart, I get it, yeah. Target. I just be shopping. So you don't need to have the fanciest stuff. No, I don't. Right. I don't care about all the name brand stuff. Yeah. My team really the people that put me on to that stuff because I used to be like, shoot, for y'all need me to go buy a new outfit. I got a rainbow or something. Yeah. But then they start saying like, your budget higher. You can go to designer stores, and then I go in them designer stores and not even see none I like. So I used to be like, it's not even worth the hype like the designer stuff yeah yeah i still be shopping at little stores i don't be tripping off this yeah shit. is that your uh is that the watch that drake got you yeah no way yeah it is dang that's the fanciest thing i've ever seen i know me too i ain't gonna lie my god i never seen nothing like this and it's see-through he gotta pull it up what's that song what this oh twitter Dang, I wouldn't even have put that thing out the box. Man. I don't be wanting to wear it for real. Like, it's it's kind of special because I never got nothing like this I know. Type, like. What, like, spawned him, do you think, to give it to you? What made him give it to me? I'm just a cool person and he fuck with me. Like, I don't know. He was excited to give me the watch, too. Yeah. I'm glad he was excited like that. Like, He's a nice guy, huh? Yeah, I feel like he was just like, he fuck with my vibe and stuff. I don't be on the same like groupy shit. Other people probably be on like, I'm just like chill. Like that's what everybody know when they come around me. Yeah, I just be chilling. Yeah, you chill, huh? For real. Dang, I like that. <laughs> that's something I like, a chill, get a chill. Yeah, hug. I don't do too much. Like I'm just really one of the homegirls. And you like to hug too, huh? Uh, what you mean hug? Just if you hug somebody, that fits. if you got a man, you hug him. Hell yeah. Yeah. I know how to make people day. Like, I'm a good good friend, good all day, for real. It's important to you. Yeah. Yeah. To be nice. But, I don't know, just don't play with me, because I can get like that. Like, that's the yeah. side they don't want to see. Like, I'm real cool, but once I take it there, y'all going to wish y'all never took it there with me, because I take it real far. Like, I go too far. <laughs> really? I go too far. And what, you pull that thing out on them? Man, I just, I do all kind of stuff. Oh, I'm scandalous, yeah. for real. So that's why I just tell people, just don't play with me like that. Like, we can be cool. I'm going to be, I'm going to respect you, just respect me. But once you take it there with me, it's to the moon with me. Let's go. For sure. Dang. I'm serious. Like, I believe you. I don't want to take it do, there. Yeah, for I real. I want to stay right here on Earth. We Everybody ain't, know. We ain't heading to the moon at all. <laughs> for uh, real. Um, And what about when it comes to men? I know you talk about you like a real strong, like a tough, you know, a real. Yeah, rough and tough. Yeah, a guy that's really, you know, a kind of yeah. thug. Is that okay, that term to use? I mean. You don't have to be a thug? No, okay. I don't have a type. Okay. I just. I like um like a strong a strong dude though like I ain't got no type though like 
he could be a working man, but still put his foot down or be like a stand up guy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He could be any type of man, but just not a uh, weak. I don't like weak people because I'm not weak. Like, so it's going to be hard to even deal with me. And I don't want to have somebody that I can run over. You know, that's yeah. not fun. It's not fun. No, you don't want that at all. Mm -mm. And you don't deserve that. Period. You deserve a <laughs> champion. Yeah, for real. And what about like a white man? Would you ever consider dating a white man or no? Yeah, I don't have, like, I'm not, I'm not like that. I'm not, I don't have a problem with other races, but I never dated a white person. Really? I always said I wanted to try and see what it was like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I used to be on Pornhub and, and I used to like watch, uh, like, white dudes fucking with black girls. Cause I used to be like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. It, that's different to me. Like, you know how you said sitting next to a black girl, or, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. It's just something different, like out of my comfort zone. Yeah. So I used to just try to see like, what would that be like? I don't know. Though. Oh, I remember the first time, I, like, a, a, like, yeah, sometimes if you don't spend time around people, there's always like new things, you know? It's like little things you don't even realize. Like I was telling YG, I had a, I went to a doctor's office mm -hmm. one time and the doctor was black, right? Mm -hmm. And I'd never had a black doctor. Mm -hmm. I'd never... I'd never not wanted it. I just had never, right. you know, you call a doctor, you go in there and whoever comes in is the guy. Right. And I was like, dang, I was like, I don't know. I know he's a, I, you know, but it was just It was different. a girl, a girl. It was a man girl. doctor. Okay. But it was just, I'd never had it, you know? So anyway, there's things like with race that I think some things are just new experiences, you know? And so you get, you try them and you see how it goes. Like if I, and I, when I went on that date, I'd never held a black girl's hand before, you know? It yeah. doesn't mean like I'd had a lot of friends that were black girls growing up, but I'd just never done it until you do. You're like, oh, this is. Yeah, it's something different for it's, real. Yeah, it's not wrong or it's just it's something different. Something new to you. Like. Yeah, something new. So what happened with the black doctor? It was fine. Everything was good. I got prescribed and I had I didn't have anything bad or nothing. Probably just some asthma or whatever. You know, they got asthma in the black community or yeah, not? Yeah, yeah. Really? They got it bad. Damn, brother. Everything trying to get them. Yeah. <laughs> Sugar, yeah, asthma, and shit. damn, everything, yeah. bro. But white people got different stuff too that we can't get. Like we be looking at white people, like, dang, they got a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. real, like I'm you know how like think. they can get lice. Oh yeah, and sunburn and stuff. Like I be looking at them, like, dang, that's crazy. Oh, I was thinking the other day, skin cancer. We yeah. can't get stuff like that. Yeah, and y'all don't know how tough sunburn is a real. People don't want to admit it, but that shit is real. What it do? That's the unsexy red. What it do though? <laughs> it burns. Yeah, it burns. You can't. You sit down. You can't hug nobody. Ooh, your body, your skin be stiff. Like. You pick your child up and it hurts. For yeah, real? You, it's all yeah sunburn. And sometimes even your lips get burnt. You can't even enjoy a little bit of soup what? or something. What? That's it's, crazy. It's real. People See? don't understand this. Yeah, that's crazy. Everybody's got their things, you know. And you know how they have you ever heard like um like black don't crack? Mm -hmm. Like we age different. Yeah. Is that you think that's true? I think that it, there's I think black is just kind of people wear black because they want to look it looks lean, it looks it it's a better color to wear, I think. So yes, I think it does. I think black people just look better over time. Look at some of this damage, dear God. I mean, look at this, mm -hmm. man. Ooh, that and he dude. had a shirt on. Ooh, yeah. look, that one. You look at him. Here's what he, he got bumps on his arm. <laughs> yeah. So that can happen. You can get bumps and stuff. Oh, you could look at that. Oh my God, it's boils. People, you start getting you grilling your own meat. That's crazy. Look at that. Somebody had fell asleep with their arm on him. Uh uh, no. <laughs> See, <laughs> we don't go through stuff like this. That's what I'm saying. We all got our thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Just sitting. You Do know, white people get diabetes. Oh, yeah. Oh, they do? I ain't gonna lie. I thought that was a black thing. Mm -mm. We're getting it. People got it. I know some people that got it, and they always wearing, like, you know, they always making sound like this. Ooh. And they always have a sneak of apple. Yeah, like, eat talk some, we, they, I gotta eat sugar? Yeah, you be talking to them, they huff down a little baby snicker. A baby snicker. <laughs> Diabetes mortality. <clears throat> yeah, so it's happening. Let me see. Wait. Black Americans, whatever. No, nah, but you see how many black, like it's real big in our community. Yeah, yeah. That's why. That's why I didn't think white people could get diabetes because I just normally hear about like black people. Black people get diabetes. Yeah. Hell yeah. I wonder why you know, we, though. I think it's because we season our food a lot, mm. and we put a lot of salt and a lot of sugar in whatever we eat. 
Yeah. Like we really season our food. Like everything got to have some, you know, extra, every every seasoning going to go on everything, you know? Yeah. I think that's where they come from. Black people like a lot of spice, huh? No matter what it is, huh? All the black cultures, like Jamaicans, they be putting all spice on their food. Oh, Africans. they wild. They wild, man. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What's the blackest culture? Like, is there one culture that's the darkest skin, kind of? I think Africans. Because yeah. they close to the sun. Oh, damn. Africa. So they, like, real We dark. can't even go there. They trying to get us there. What you mean? Dude, you- They got white people in Africa? They, You know they sun burn as hell, though. Oh, you think they hurt out there? Cause that's close yeah, to the sun. I, can't even, I feel like they just, yeah, I think it would be too much. They got white Africans though. You know that? Oh, you ever see the guy that's like a mix kind of? No. Like, like it's straight like a, white, like they white, but they speak Africa. Oh. Uh, they probably got Chinese people in Africa too. Oh my gosh. Can you look that up? Yeah, white, look up, white Africans. Look up white Africans and then bring up a Chinese. Cause I didn't know that, but they got different, different races every, in every like, you know, country you go right. to. Right. Like, if you go to China, I didn't know black. it was black Chinese people. Oh, wow. Did you know that? I have not seen it. I seen it. It's straight black people that talk Chinese. Nuh-uh. Yes. Oh, you got to get one of them to open for you. <laughs> that should be hard. I would That'd go listen tight. to that. Yeah, it would. Chinese people, man. Like, this is what's interesting about your music is it could take you all around the world. Hell Isn't that crazy? Yeah. It look like he black down there. Yeah, yeah, who is that? John Ping, homie. Man, it be Dang, come on. And they man. be straight black and Chinese. What is going on? I don't understand. John Ping, he out there. Can you look up black <laughs> yeah. black black Chinese people? We need a couple black Chinese out there. No, I seen a picture that they said like they won't show y'all the other side of uh of China? China, yep. And, and it was, it was like real black people. And I was shocked. And they looked just like some Chinese people, but they was black. Damn. They were slim. And you know how the Chinese people oh, yeah, they slim real. with some nice little shape. Mm -hmm. They were straight black, slim, pretty. I was like, wow. Chinese all kind of, they really come in kind of one size, huh? Yeah, they be slim. Yeah, they're not. Except for sumo wrestlers and stuff. Yeah. But they got a, yeah, them boys are big. But I think that's, uh, I don't know if they have Chinese sumo wrestlers. They might have Korean. I know they got Japanese. Oh. Um, have you gotten to perform a, like in another country yet? Uh, yeah, I've been in London, Canada. Um, where else did I go? I've been some little places. Yeah, I've been some places. And did your, does Chucky go with you when you go or no? Yeah, my son be with me. But he wasn't with me in the, across the country and stuff because he ain't got no passport yet. He doesn't? No. I got to fill it out. only reason he ain't got one is because they say the daddy got to fill it out too. Like both parents, yeah, and you know my he in jail. So it's oh, his dad's in jail. That's the one I be saying free my baby daddy. Oh yeah, that's yeah, right, huh? Yeah. And will they free him or not? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. Did he? Um, did he do it or not? I won't tell anybody. Yeah, he did. He innocent. Innocent. You know it. Of course. You know they be lying. Yeah, that's how it is. They do though. Oh yeah, look, a lot of a lot of people are in jail and they shouldn't be yeah they put stuff on people um have you been to jail before not for real like i can i didn't got locked up but i ain't had to like do no jail time right i can get out the next day like have to spend a night there and then they let me out the like you didn't day. start working out or nothing yeah. <laughs> no nah, like they ain't never sent me to the back where the other yeah. people was at. i just be in the this here <laughs> That's the most I ever had to do, like 24 hours, 48 hours or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like, I'm going to stay up front. Whatever, however yeah. we figure this out, I'm staying up front. Yeah, I ain't never had it got sent to the back, mm -mm, baby. You know, businesses grow and they change. And you got to change. You got to be ready. You know, even as the world's population increases, Santa's got to have more elves. He's got to get more boxes out. Ship station can help. Especially right now, the calm before the holiday storm. You can prepare your e-commerce business for the holiday rush now by using ShipStation. Whether you're shipping from your house or a warehouse, ShipStation can help increase your profitability. That's right. Effortless integration everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. Get discounts up to 84% off UPS and USPS rates. Over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce business with ShipStation. 
and 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. Go to ShipStation.com and use code THEO today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, code THEO. You ever been injured somewhere at work, not at work, in a car accident, in a drive-by or something like that? Somebody hit you with something, hit you with a rake, hit you with a shovel. Well, Morgan and Morgan can help. They are America's largest injury law firm. They have over 100 offices nationwide and more than 800 lawyers. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan and Morgan. Submitting an injury claim with Morgan and Morgan is so easy. It's more like using an app than hiring a lawyer. You can submit a claim without ever leaving your couch. In eight clicks or less, you can submit a claim to Morgan & Morgan. If you're ever injured, their fee is free unless they win. That's right, Morgan & Morgan. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash this past weekend or dial pound law, pound 529 from your cell phone. That's forthepeople.com slash this past weekend or pound law. Pound 529 from your cell. This is a paid advertisement. Today's episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. That's right. If you've been struggling in your brain or in your mind or having trouble organizing things in your life, feeling like you're on track, you're feeling out of sorts, all those things are pretty common. That's part of being alive. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com Theo today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash t-h-e-o this episode is sponsored by better help um do you think one day that you would get married or no um i want to just for the experience because weddings is fun and like they just they just look fun but yeah i probably it to me it don't even weddings is not even real it's just a ceremony like you can be with a person y'all live each other you can have a wedding Y'all break up the next day or something like weddings ain't real. It's just a ceremony you celebrating your love with another person, basically. Yeah. It's not real though. Like, I don't know. I don't be believing in all that marriage stuff. Cause you could sign paperwork and they still will cheat on you and all that. Like, yeah. Know? It's married people giving their wife's aids and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like if y'all got married, that was the whole point of like committing to each other so y'all don't gotta do that. But people, people still doing it. Yeah, so it's like, what was the point of getting married? Right. Like, so I don't know. Yeah. I think it would be fun. I, I think it would be nice. Like an experience. But right. I don't think it got to be that serious. It could just be me and this person been together for a long time. We want to celebrate our love in front of y'all. But it ain't It ain't even got to be like, okay, now we married. It could yeah. just be a little ceremony, you know? Yeah. Like a party. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Um, That's how I see it. Do you think that there's a that there's a chance that you'll go like start to do your own tour? I know that you just got to open up for Drake, right? Yeah, I'm and that was do yesterday. A tour. I got a tour coming up. You do? Yes. Yep, I do. Who had his princess tour coming soon? Oh, I've seen. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I've seen some of the flowers. It sold out. Sold out twice. Yeah, it's already sold out twice. Yes, because the first time they didn't think he was gonna do what he did. It sold out within like 30 minutes to an hour, and then. They went to bigger arenas and then they sold out. So now people still looking to buy tickets, but they sold out. So, and do you start to like think about like what do you want on it? Like, do you want like the screens? How is it gonna look and that sort of thing? Yeah, I've been thinking about. We've been thinking about all that. This last night, this you, huh? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> He's oh, wow. That's so cool. How they? Where they? Where does it? Too cool. Too bad. Did you feel nervous or anything? No, huh? I don't be nervous no more. It's fun. I used to be nervous because, like I said, I was shy. Mm -hmm. But now I just do what I got to do. Yeah, once you start to get used to it, especially if the venue is bigger, at first it feels real scary. Mm -hmm. But then once you get in there a little bit, you're like, okay. Yeah, I be nervous. I, I just want to get this over with. Like, 
my heart rushing. But now I literally just go up there and do what I gotta do. Maybe it's because I know how the crowd gonna react to me. I used to be scared thinking when nobody gonna like me. Oh, I think that's yeah. why I didn't used to wanna do it. Yeah, it's like, fun to go out there when you know they're gonna like you. Yeah. Because <laughs> I used to be like, what if they don't um wanna see me? Like, what if they just sit there and watch me perform? Because I didn't have times where I first started rapping. And they don't know my music, so everybody just sitting there, just watching me. Oh and I'm on stage, God. still having to act like I'm just when really inside, I'm just like I'm ready to get the fuck off this stage. <laughs> like they not even fucking with me, but they was fucking with me. They just didn't know my music. And then I get off the stage, they be like, I really like your music. Where can I find you at? And I'm like, oh, so they was fucking with me. I just didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is scary. Well, it's interesting just the different levels you go through. And then once you get to a certain level, you never get to really go back to those. Yeah. You don't really realize at the time sometimes that those that there's like uh, how interesting they are or mm -hmm. just how like how some of those moments you might never have them again. Yeah. You know, I used to be so scared to the point I used to like throw up like before I got off stage or after like hurry up. We got to rush off stage and run right to a trash can. Like oh. my anxiety would be bad. Damn. Yeah, it's bad. Really? It's still kind of bad. Like, I don't like walking through crowds. Like, people ignorant. They'll pull your hair, try to hit you. Like, they just, you know, you just never know. And so grabbing you too, huh? Yeah, they be grabbing me, and mm. I don't like that. Like, don't touch me. Mm -mm. And I got anxiety already, and then everybody want to grab, touch all on my arm, pull, pull my wig. I be like, the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> people crazy. <laughs> when you, um, <clears throat> when you think about, like, doing art and doing something new right mm -hmm. do you start to does your brain start to think of like new avenues and things you want to do or do you just kind of are you kind of happy in your lane or like uh -uh. i be wanting to do something everything i'll be like i want to do a cooking show <laughs> I'm yeah. just doing, i want to start a fashion line i want to sell this but i always been like that like ever since i was little i knew how to make money like when i was a kid i used to sell chips Go take all my chips from the house, go sell them at school for a dollar, like on some sneaky stuff. <laughs> like I always been a hustler, so I just be finding ways to make make money. Yeah, that's always been me. Yeah, they got a good cooking show. Have you seen Sean and Marley? They do cooking. No, Sean and Marley. Yeah, it's these two fellas in uh, Australia, and they got Down syndrome. Oh, for real. Oh, and they got the best cooking show. They be making some good food. Oh, it's good, oh, man. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, pull up a clip of it if you can, man. Oh. When I go to Australia, I want to go on their show. For real? Yeah, they do good. Sean is, uh, he more the lead. Marley, he's good too, but I like, I love both of them. Yeah. Oh, and I'm hungry. Oh, that looks good right now. What they making? They but make, they live together, they friends. Yeah, they friends. And they have, I, I, I don't know if they're brothers or not. They look alike. Yeah, they might be brothers, but that, or they might yeah. I'm going to start watching it. They're good. I'm going to start watching it. On now. Instagram, they're the best. And yeah, they do all kinds of stuff. They do chicken. They do desserts. Oh, it looks so good. I'm hungry. They do. Uh, oh, that's so cute. They probably got their parents behind the camera helping them. Something, yeah. And some of the knives they can't use, but most of the stuff they can use. And they do a good job. Yeah. They do all kind of fun stuff. Um, but that's one of my favorite shows. Yeah, I wonder who you would cook with, or it would just be you maybe with celebrity guests or something. Mm -hmm. Just coming on there, like, cooking their favorite meals and stuff. Or showing them what we eat in my household. Like, oh, yeah? Yeah, I like cooking. I like to make Italian food, and I like pancakes, too. You like pancakes? Yeah, you They're like so them? They're so random. Yeah, I like, I like Yeah, pancakes. you like them, huh? Yeah, I like I syrup. You do? You yeah. put syrup on a lot of stuff? I love it. You ever had White Castles? Uh, Yeah, I've had them. Oh my God, get a cheeseburger, mm -hmm. White Castle cheeseburger, extra onions, and dip it in some syrup. Mm. Ooh, it's so, good. so good. I ain't lying. You gotta try it. That's good, Dan. You gotta taste it. It's so good. Do you smoke? Mm, nuh uh. Well, it's still good, even if you don't smoke, because I used to get hot fried <laughs> and just go to White Castle to dip my little hair ice cream. <laughs> Bashing, because that's the one of the late night spots we got where I'm from. Yeah. So everybody got to like, like the White Castle line be rapping all the way around. Yeah, That's I'm trying thing. to think of what we went to. We went to, yeah, maybe Waffle House. They had a Waffle yeah. House in our town, and the police would pick up all the drunk drivers, and they wouldn't take them to jail. They would drop them off at the Waffle House. Why? Just because I think they didn't, you know, they was trying to be nice to them. So you go in there to eat, and it would be full of all the drunk drivers were sitting in there. What? Just yeah. waiting? Just drunk as hell, just trying to sober up, you know. No, nah, that's too much. It was pretty, it was interesting. I bet that was like, you know, like, they in our fight, and they drunk. <laughs> that's too much. That's 
<laughs> what about uh did you ever get met did you ever have any drug issues or you just drank and smoke mostly i don't drink i smoke oh you just smoke you never like drinking i used to drink when i was young but i stopped drinking like this stuff nasty i'd had bad experiences off liquor so i just when i smell it it, it just throw me off like mm -mm, i don't even want none of that can you get pretty high like what's the highest you can get you think super high to where i go to sleep like oh. I got a high tolerance uh -huh. and I can just keep smoking. Like if me and my friends just rolling up back to back, I'm not going to turn it down. I'm going to hit every blunt. Like <laughs> That's a lot. He's a damn, yeah, I can smoke. Wow. I can smoke like a chimney. And um, I think black people are better at getting high. Do you think so? Why do you say that? They just seem, Are we? Yeah. Maybe so. It's a thing. It's a it's a thing. It just I think some people are better with certain things. You know, like Asian people can't drink alcohol; they turn red. Mm mm. For real. Yeah. I think white people is good drinkers. White people, I think, is probably good drinkers. They good drinkers. They I, known for the drinking for but, sure. And they like psychedelic drugs too. Like like I was thinking that too. Like what? Though? Like mushrooms, LSD. But there's a lot more black people getting into mushrooms and stuff now. Cause I just found out about them. I ain't too much know about all this stuff. But yeah, like you said, yeah. But that is kind of like a white thing. Like if you watch the movies and stuff, yeah. it be the white people putting their black friends onto the shit. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> we don't be knowing about all this shit. Yeah. And pills too though, low key. And pills like is Molly, a white thing, huh? Molly, stuff like that. Yeah. X pills. Yeah, pill. X, is a, X might be both black and white. I think black people doing it now, but I feel like white people oh, is true. the suppliers or like they really good at this shit. Like, yeah, if a dude's pulling up to sell them, it might be a white dude, probably. They had a, and a lot of Chinese people are doing uh, ecstasy. Ecstasy? What's ecstasy? That ain't no X pills. Right. I was just saying that X pills. Yeah, same thing. Oh, okay. The Chinese, them boys are getting them, boy, and they get wild. I'm dead. At the rave in China, Ooh. people struggling to control ecstasy. Dang. They turned Damn, up like boy. that. If I, were, I wonder if what kind of drug I would like to do if I were Chinese. I wish I could be different cultures. You know, mm -hmm. wouldn't it be so cool to just to know what it's like? Yeah, yeah. Switch cultures and shit. Just wake up or get inside somebody else's body. I be wishing you could do stuff like that. And take it for a drive like a car. Yeah, like trade bodies with people. Yeah, yeah. But what if you got a little bitty body? Like they got a those OnlyFans models. They have some OnlyFans like a little person. There they are. A midget. And they make him bank. She says she made. I heard you made crazy. They like people money like money. midgets, low key. Is that actually? It's true? like a, the number. Um, of, like, it was like a oh yeah, millions. Twenty million a year in a year. Fucking a. She said you made person. twenty million in a year. That's kind of creepy though. Like people be saying like it look they look like kids. That's not yeah. I That's think not cool. You can't say that. You got to say hey, you look like an adult. No, they they gonna say they look like kids, so they want to fuck. Oh, like, that's, that's sick. Weird. Do they have a lot of like pedophiles and stuff in the black community or no? Same. I know. It's to me it's big. It'd be really in your family too. The black people. Like that's like, where I know all the rapists to be in family households and stuff. Oh really? Hell yeah. Yeah. Wow. Your uncles, your oh, uh, cousins. I, once I found out I was an uncle, I was like, damn, I can't do this. Man, what you mean? It's just because you always hear about the crazy uncle or the, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> my, my brother's like, we're having a kid. I was like, fuck, man. I'm dead. All right. It's fun, though, being an uncle. It's fun, but yeah, I'm glad I'm not. This is my nephew, so they're good. Aw. That I, is so cute. They are cute, actually. They so cute. Ooh, how old is they? They sweet kids. They eleven, I think, and nine. They so eight. handsome. They are. They're nice children, actually. Yeah, I've been pretty good. blessed. You got nieces and nephews? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love my nieces and nephews. They was my first kids. It's when a when you have a kid coming to your family, it kind of changes things. Huh? Yeah, it do. It definitely do. It kind of bring them together too, though. Like it's a new new person in the family. It's kind of weird too. Yeah, it's funny. Did you uh, get closer to your siblings that had the children? Mm -hmm. Yep, because we had to be there for my sister and help her out. You know, it was fun, though. Yeah, it's fun. What's something that you would spend your money on now that you're making some that money? That I would? Think? Yeah. Can I drink this on camera? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> that I would? Mm -hmm. mm hmm The most expensive thing I didn't bought is um, a house. Yeah. In a car. That's the most expensive thing. And I never expected to be doing stuff like that. 
I know it's kind of weird. You're like, I guess I have to do it, you know, or not have to, but I should get myself something too because I work hard. Yeah, but that's like, I'm the the type, like, that'll be my, if somebody's like, what you want? I'm going to say some stuff that I need, not stuff that, like, give me a purse. No, I I need this for my house. Give me this, like, you know. Give me something I need, yeah. Yeah, something I can use for real, for real. Not just no purse or no clothes or shoes. No, I need some real stuff, like. Yeah. Yeah, that's I need some ingredients. That's what I need. (laughs) This said 15 things worth buying. Skincare. Oh, yeah, skincare. I would get something nice like a. uh, A watch. I don't know. No, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like comfortable stuff, too. When I get a nice. Nice little house shoes. Ooh. Black people crazy. love house shoes, huh? Yeah. These my little house shoes. I wear these everywhere. Oh, those are cute, huh? Thank you. Oh, because they red too, huh? No, I got them for my, because my son, he loves Spider-Man. Do those fit him too? No, huh? No, he wished they did. <laughs> I got them for him, though. Do you, uh, does he sleep in your room or he have his own room? He got his own room, but he, he just want to sleep in my bed all the time. Dang. I, I be like, get out of my room. I be telling him, he be, No. <laughs> Oh, my God. We had this argument every day. He be leaving food all in my bed, crumbs, his toys. That's his room, for real. Dang. I can't have no privacy, for real. Does he out? Do you think he would want a sibling or he has little friends and stuff? He don't got no friends. He got cousins and stuff. Damn. I think he'll want a sibling, but, yeah, he would. He like playing with other kids. And it's just him and me So and my mama. He need other kids to play with, so I think he would want a sibling, yeah. He could be, I follow this one kid on TikTok. I don't follow a child, but it's like his parents do it, you uh-huh. know? Samaj, that's his name. You ever seen him? No. He make this, he's like S-M-A-A-J on TikTok. Samaj, what he do? Toys. His mom like puts like, like conditioner on his skin sometimes at night. And he goes, you so beautiful. No. You haven't seen him? No. Oh, he's cool. I got to see him. You know how some people, their kids are just real funny. Uh-huh. That's him, yeah. The one on the oh, top man. right, that's him. This kid is funny, man. Oh, Reese, when you came here, uh-uh. uh uh-uh. <laughs> you were beautiful. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> He's fitting you game. Beautiful. Oh, why you fitting game. That's so sweet. You, you greeted it up. You greeted it up. <laughs> He's a bad. Kids be smart. I know. Some of them are, huh? That's he, how my son be like. He act grown. Really? Yeah, I get my hair done. He be like, I like your hair. Like, he always point. <laughs> I, I even forgot I didn't got my hair done. And he would point out. He be, your hair, mama. I like it. I was like, oh, you like my hair? Thank you. He like, you look cute. You cute. You look pretty. Were you scared when you first had him or no? Yeah, because it's like a new experience. Like, damn, I got to look out for somebody. Oh, oh my no. God. Damn. I was crying thinking about it. Like, my life is changing. And you got to set your alarm the next day even because you got to get up. Mm-hmm. It was a big change. I was depressed, too. I was depressed. And then what happened? He started growing more into a person and it got easier? Yeah, it just got, like, fun and interesting. But I definitely was depressed when I first had him. Like, I was really sad. I don't know why. Well, that's called postpartum. Because I wasn't used to it. So it's like, dang, it's a human I got to take care of. It's hard. It's not yeah. easy. And knowing it's like fin- finna be with me for the rest of my life. Like I'm finna get a, I can get a house. I got another person I got to look out for. <laughs> you Every, gotta bring him. I'm yeah. finna get food. Now I got to buy this person some food. It's just like, it's hard. Yeah. It's hard. It's crazy. And is it, t- what's the, t- I guess it, if yeah, I guess, and if his dad isn't around, that's probably the toughest part because yeah, he can't build that relationship. It is tough, yeah. Being a single parent, like even if I know I got it, like I got the funds and stuff to take care of my son, but you can't do daddy stuff, like. Mm-mm. And my son always asks for his daddy, so that's just hard. I hate it for him. Yeah, and you can't even rent a dad. You can't do nothing like that. Hell no, nah, he know his daddy. Yeah, he know his daddy. <laughs> you can't bring in like nah, a. Nah, you can't even play like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, do they is. have like con- do they have like visits where you can go visit or no? Yeah, we be visiting them. Oh, that's cool. But behind glass. Oh man. So they can't touch each other. My son be putting his hand on the window. He'll bring his toys and be playing Aww. on the toys. I just be crying like this is so sad. I hate that for kids. Like yeah. kids deserve their parents. Yeah. And that make a difference when you got your daddy in your life too. It oh, really does. Yeah. Because they used to the mama being nurturing. But when you got your daddy, it's like, dang, you got a daddy? That's different, you know? Yeah. 
That's different. Yeah, especially I think in poor communities, like a lot of the other kids in our neighborhood, we didn't have. Some people had dads, and you could tell there was a little bit of a difference in the home. You know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's it's different. Like, dang, you got a daddy. Like you look, you blessed. You look, yeah. you got both of your parents in your life. I know. I always admired that. I like to be over there at those houses yeah. sometimes too. Yeah, because I had a friend. She was the only one of us that had her daddy still in her life. And when I say she was spoiled, we used to go to her house. She had a big old house. She had all the snacks, all the clothes. Like yeah. she was just like living life. Like it was fun going over there. Her parents was the best for real. Yeah, my friend William, his his dad was there, and we would go. He sometimes his dad would spank him. I'd be like, spank me. I <laughs> like like you want them to be your daddy yeah, too. Yeah, I just want in. Yeah, yeah oh okay. god. <laughs> I just want to feel a little. Yeah, just something. You know? Yeah. Oh, and they yelling at you too. It's like now you part yeah. of them. Like, like yell at me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to be a part of their family, their household. Yeah, it's nice. It's important. Yeah, Do and for Christmas. She used to have all the toys, oh, yeah. all the good gifts, like all the good gifts. So when we just sitting over there like, dang. Love mom and dad. And when they say that on there, you say, dang. Yeah, it's really, a, it's sad to say, but it's a blessing if you can have both of your parents. It shouldn't be like that. Like, yeah, I think it's one of the things that's tough in the world is like people can't even, afford, you know, it used to be able to be a mom. I, I think it used to be able to be that a mom could be at home with her kids. And now both parents, they even have to work if you do have both of them. Yeah. You know, it's like they both got to be there. Yeah. Um, but I think that's beautiful that you want that for your son. It's important. Yeah. And I, yeah, I think I would probably like to have that when I have a family. Yeah, for sure. You got to be a stand up guy because daddies is important. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. I got to be ready to be a daddy. It's important, though. You know, I got to want to get up in the morning and say, yeah. Yeah, for Put real. my shirt on, Mr. Mike. I'm going to be that man, you know? <laughs> yeah, you can't be no lazy parent. It ain't no such thing. Uh-uh. Oh, kids, really, huh? they know. They keep you up working. You got to play with them all day. Get them bath. You basically got to treat them like another, you know? Like, it's you. Like, yeah. whatever you do for yourself. No. Actually, no. Because you might want to lay around all day and do nothing. But your kids, they want to be active. They want to do this, do that. And you got to actually be ready to do that. You got to be engaged with them. Yes. Yeah. I be tired. But I sit there and still play with him like I'm his friend or something. Put him <laughs> in a tub. He hungry all the time. He always want juice. Oh. He always want something. He, he want to go to the store. I just be doing Damn. Something. Yeah, that's what I'm God, saying. God, damn. You really it's, running around. It's a job, yeah. Um, I got a couple more questions for you. What's a, a topic that we wanted to get on, Nick? You see anything on there? Wow. Oh, yeah. Did what? you see this? Wow. What's crazy is we was, I swear to God, my son, I was just in the car before I got here talking about Tupac uh -uh. and Machiavelli. Because I was like, y'all know people, I ain't saying he did, but I was like, y'all know people really do fake their deaths and stuff like to get away from fame. Because I can understand that because fame, it's like, yeah, I would I'd fake a death too to get away from this shit. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be yeah. a lot. It'd be a lot. Because it, it's a, just a byproduct of success a lot of times, especially in this day and age, you know, where everything's so visible. Yeah. But yeah, they said that this guy, I think he'd been going on podcasts. What was his name? What did he say? Kef D. He What'd said he he's long been known to investigators as one of four suspects identified early in the investigation. He isn't the accused gunman, but was described as the group's ringleader. Um, they just now locking him up for this. He was in the car. Davis himself has admitted in interviews and in his 2019 mm. tell-all memoir, Compton. Can you scroll? So that's why they got his dumb ass. Compton street legend that he provided the gun used in a drive-by. Wow. He's so dumb. He went all these years without getting caught, and you're going to go on there on an interview thinking shit cool to talk about. But do you think, is though— Is you crazy? He might be. Do you think, though, that he did it because—does it say that he's dying? He had cancer? Yeah, I guess he had cancer, and that's why he said a lot of things back in the days. He thought he was dying of cancer. Oh, he thought he was going to have to, on his yeah. deathbed type shit. Yeah. yeah, he thought he was dying of cancer, so that's why I think he started to talk more about that's it. That's crazy, and they didn't came a lot. But now he's up. still alive. And in jail now. And, they got and you <laughs> old. <laughs> oh, now that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, what do you think about that? What were you guys talking about it when you talked about it? We was just saying, like, because people used to be trying to act like they spotted Tupac here and there. And they was talking about he not really dead and stuff. Yeah, he like the black Elvis kind of. Yeah. Oh, they saying Elvis didn't really die? Yeah, people say he's here and there. People wow. seen him at Dollar General. Do you, I think stuff like that could be real. We just never know. 
Like anything is possible to me. Oh yeah, I wouldn't be surprised maybe if you had enough if you had enough money and enough Hell connections yeah. in the media, you could make it happen. Like, um, what was that rape? Was his name Epstein? Yeah. They were saying he not dead, for real. Remember they said somebody killed him in his cell? Yeah, they said the cameras were off, the guards weren't there, and he died. He hung himself. I don't know. People were saying he not really did. He just got all that money, and he got he probably somewhere living life on the other side of the world right now. And he looks like the kind of creep that they would let loose in this yeah. in this world. Man, when money talk, that's one thing about it. So I don't know. I believe it's possible that people can fake their deaths and just go on about their way. Yeah, that's possible. But you, if somebody sees that guy, though, it's going to be a wrap. Mm -hmm. you but know. you know, they could change their face. It's things like that now. Really? Like, people probably, yeah, they get surgeries and all that change, how they look, change their identity. When you got money, yeah. you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Because shit, let me get some money and commit a crime. And, and <laughs> let me have a lot of money like a billionaire and I need to do this to do that. Baby, I'm a new, I'm not even that person. I would, I don't know what kind of, what, what surgery would you get you think to hide? Um, Probably like a face reconstruction. You might have to get a breast reduction too. Really? You might have no. to. Yeah, to yeah. change everything. Like You better show up, yeah. They're going to like, she had big titties. If people see them cups, they might know what she yeah. you know? <laughs> they see them red solo cups, oh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, I would get a, maybe a longer neck. And people would be like, is that him? And they're like, Man, no. that won't make a difference. People be like, he got that long ass neck. Yeah, look at right there. Uh-uh. Hey, <laughs> she coming up. <laughs> Dang, suddenly she's a good swimmer. The internet is <laughs> look swimming. At her, huh? I said, okay, swim. You think them will make me float? Hey, that thing, For real? Yeah, girl. Yeah. You That's could funny. Work, start a job as a ferry. The internet And I'll buy a ticket. <laughs> Come on, the internet like big, is crazy, like isn't it? You like big chest or big butt? Mm, I think I like a kind of like a moving butt, you like, like a butt that's a, got some activity to yeah. it, like a butt that looks busy, like it's about to run off and do something. <laughs> You're funny. Yeah, so you be looking at booties and stuff. Yeah, I like looking at probably some booties. I don't really care. I mean, I, breasts are great. I'm happy that people have breasts. I like both. Yeah, maybe I like. I mean, I'm happy that everybody. I'm happy that women have them. Yeah. <laughs> You I like them. We got them. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I like. I like all of that. Me too. I like like a curve, curvaceous. So yeah, it's cute. Yeah, and I got, I got, I got some cheeks on me too. Ooh. So I, you know, I some do buns. what I can. Yeah, you got to have some buns. I think. You be letting your girl squeeze your buns. Maybe if we making like dinner or something. You like grab your booty. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. Is that too much? You think? <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, it's it's the person you with. They can touch wherever they want to on you. Like, yeah, if that, yeah, if that, if this, if this, if y'all getting along well, and at, it's nice. <laughs> why you go pull that up? Yeah, why y'all pull that up? Who's man? that? That's me. I know that ain't you. They trying to. That's real. Yeah, they trying to. Is that your real buns? Yeah. Why they look fake? <sighs> it look like you poking it out on purpose. <laughs> God, that's just how I look, girl. <laughs> What is you doing on there? That's how I look. So I, you was just standing there. I guess, yeah, my friend. It looked like you straight going like this. Somebody took a fit. They shouldn't have done it. <laughs> I'm dead. You ain't got no bread or nothing. What uh? What other topics we got, Nick? What else? What some other things? And we'll get you out of here, sexy. Okay. You performing tonight? Um, no, I got a studio session. You do? Yeah. Then I got a flight early in the morning. So when you go into studio sessions, like. How do you find like new beats and stuff these days? Are people just, could it be a stranger submitting something or you got a. It could, like people send it to, cause they can't send it to me cause I'm not going to see it. Everybody try to send me stuff. I just say, send it to my team and they going to show me. And I sit there and go through the beats. And if I'm, if I can catch a flow in my head or start rapping off the top, then I'm like, yeah, that's, I want to have this beat. Yeah. Yeah. And do you start, do you start to get paranoid a little bit about, not paranoid, but do you start to like, cause now people, these days, people consume things so quick. You want to put out something, you know, I feel like especially if you're a creative person, you mm -hmm. want to put out the next thing, you know? Yeah, but I don't even think, I ain't gonna lie, I don't think too hard about it. I just, I just do me and it work for me for real. Like, I don't even think hard on it. Like, I just go with my mood, however I'm feeling that day. If a nigga do something or like I had an experience, I can go write about it. And it might be a hit, for real. Because the real stuff be the hits. Like, when you really making a real song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, them be the hits. Like, Pound Town, I knew that was a hit because it was, like, a real story. So, I'm like, they gonna like, they gonna relate. Oh, yeah. I definitely, I know about it. Yeah. Everybody yeah. know about Pound Town. Pound That's, Town is Everybody hard. know about that. And how do people get to Pound Town exactly? Do they? Do they I, win? I mean, I know it's, like, sex, yeah. right? But... 
at what point does sex turn into pound town, I guess? I mean, if it's good, like if y'all doing the shit, like doing the damn thing. Yeah. <laughs> it gotta be good though. If you it, if it's not good, you wasn't in pound town for sure. Oh damn. If it was whack, that was not pound town. Yeah, I think I've been on the outside. I've been in the suburbs probably. You what know. you mean? You ain't ever been to Pound Town? I mean, I've been, I, you know, yeah, I've been it's, there. It's up to you, too. Well, it's up to both partners, for real. Like, if it's just, like, magical, yeah, that's Pound Town. Oh, maybe I've been, yeah. I've yeah. probably, <laughs> probably been through there then. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got to. Like, the vibe got to be there for both oh, of y'all yeah. on both ends. Like, she can't be whack, you can't be whack. It got to be just lit up all the way, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's Pound Town, for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't played, right? I'm just thinking, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm making sure I've been there. I have been. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think a lot of, yeah, I've been there. Yeah. I enjoyed sure. it. Period. Um, well, let's look at a few. We got a few other sexy reds. I think, did we find some? Wait. The big red dog. That's Clifford right there. You know, he won. Trump, too, a sexy red people talk about. I'm dead. <laughs> I don't know. They talk I'm, about Are him. you trying to call them sexy reds? <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, is the, do you think more people are going to support Trump now in the hood like or Trump. no? Yeah, they support him in the hood. Because at first, I don't think <laughs> people was fucking with him. Like, they thought he was racist, saying little shit, and, you know, against women. But once he started getting black people out of jail and giving people their free money, oh, baby, we love Trump. We need him back in office. Yeah, that, a little bit of free money goes a long way. We huh? need him back. Because, yeah. baby, them <laughs> checks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, them stimulus checks, Trump, we miss you. That's like, whoa, Vicky, she's always talking about Trump. You see her ever? I like Trump. No, I ain't never seen whoa, Vicky. She's funny. She's I love Trump, though. Instagram. He funny to me. Like, I used to watch his interview, not interviews, like, him talking to people. He used to be calling people fat. Yeah. <laughs> he just he, bold. Wow. He funny. Like, We're we need to, people like him. Well, I got to meet him one time at a, a UFC fight. Have you ever been? No, I want to. I would go to a fight. Would you? If I invited Hell, you to go sometime? Hell yeah. 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 I like to see some fights now. Yeah, I like yeah, look, I'll sit there, I'll stand by if shit gets weird, I'll stand right behind you. Oh my god. You know? <laughs> but if you need me, I'll come around front, but I'll start in the back. You so know you done went to some UFC fights? Yeah, I love it. You Ooh, would love it. I do. I wanna go. It's like the trenches, but nobody's getting really only people that's getting hurt are planning on it. Man, and that'd be real too. Like it's so much fun. But he kicking. walked in, him and Mike Tyson came oh, you in, met, right? Who is that? That's Donald Trump. That's the real Trump. Yeah. At a UFC game? Yeah, and he came in. Wow. And you he's silly, him. man. I know. I want to meet him. He looks short. Is he, he short? Mm, he probably doing okay. I think older people start to get a little shorter. I know. I said that. Yeah. That's crazy. But I want to meet Trump. He was pretty chill. He was just, yeah, he like just seems like a fancy, kind of a fancy guy. He funny. But he was pretty funny. He said, I actually told YG this. I told, he said, oh, he goes, you're doing good. You're doing great, right? <laughs> And I was like, he Thanks. told you that? Yeah, he goes, and he goes, uh, your father's doing, how's your, he goes, how's your parents? I was like, my, my dad's been dead uh, for maybe 20 years. He goes, yeah. but before that, he was doing great. <laughs> I was like, All Trump right. is a character. He don't He's know what character. to say. He ain't know what to say. Yeah. Crazy man. Yeah, I think. How he, did he die? Uh, he died of cancer. Damn. I know. Sorry to hear that. What about your dad? Um, I still got a daddy. Oh, you do? Yeah. Does he live in uh, St. Louis? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, we still cool and stuff. Nice. Is he pretty proud of you? All my family proud. They like, you the first person from the hood to make it this far. Like, to, wow. They like, you know how many people from the hood used to just rap and put out videos but didn't get nowhere with it? And you doing all these big things. Like, they really see, put me on a high pedestal out there. And don't you feel a little bit like part of them is inside of you when you're doing stuff? Yes, for sure. That's the same way I feel it from my neighborhood. I just feel like everything I do, there's a little bit of like my friends from the area that's in me. You know? I'm still, I still go over there, but my team don't really want me to because it's not safe for me no more. But I still be trying to be normal and go over there, but I'm not normal no more. I'm not. So, but yeah. I know it's kind of a, it's kind of a bummer, huh? In some ways. Yeah, because I still be wanting to be regular. Like sometimes I hate being famous for real. I just like the money. Yeah, yeah. Being able to pay your bills is definitely nice. And not having to work a real job. Oh, yeah. That's great. But the fame, everything that comes with it, I don't like it. It's a lot. I think fame and, ex and certain things, they sound more exciting in everything than it actually. To the outside people. Yes. Then yeah. the actuality of things is just kind of like, it's yeah. fun, but it's the, the idea it's of fun. stuff. Like you get free stuff. You get, you get in for free wherever you are. You can go eat. It live a fancy life, but it's stuff that come with that. 
Yeah. Like everything you got is not everything that glitter is not gold. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, it all it'd be some shit with that shit. Yeah. Mm. Dang, I'm so excited for you, Sex I'm glad that I got to meet you. Thank you. It was nice meeting you too. What's a, a product that you think you would, I would like to see you come out with like a crayons, you know? Yeah. I got a lot of shit I want to do. They trying to come out with me some hair dye, like Ooh, sexy yeah. red hair dye. That's fair. Cray, a sexy red crayon color. They thought sexy of that. red Kodak black you could have. Kodak black. And now I'm trying oh, to think of all the like different crayons. Yeah. Coochie pink. I'm just like, hey, nah, look, the kids no, look. can't play with that. Yeah, kid, yeah, you might have to, yeah. Yeah, I might have to, like, do some shit. Um, we all brown. Yeah, that's a fair color. That's a, definitely a, that's a special tint. It could be the white color. Yep, I'm trying to think of who else could be, like, a last name that has a color. Bobby Green, he's a UFC fighter. I don't know Bobby Green. He's cool. Um, I don't know who else. That's him. He's good. I, I've seen him before. He's a he's good. I definitely want to go to a US. I'd be watching him on Facebook. Okay. Maybe kicking each other in the head, punching. I'm it's like, serious. It's real. It's not yeah. wrestling. Uh-uh. Oh. It's the real stuff. Or it's not boxing, because they mm -hmm. really hurting each other. Boxing is I mean, boxing is serious too, but this stuff boxing is, is but you yeah. this is hand to hand, like you yeah. busting eyes. I'll be seeing it, man. You would love that. I think you would really I love do. It. I like to see, watch fights. I'm gonna try to bring you to a fight. Let's do it. I'll let you know. Talk to my team about it. Bring me to a fight. It'd be I'm really for cool. Real. Yeah, be I am. I'm gonna uh I'm supposed to see Dana White next month and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him. Okay, that'd I'm gonna be say fine. you gotta bring We can definitely go to a game. I mean, oh. I said a game, a fight together. You can call it what you want. I look, once we get there, I'll tell you kind of what's going on if okay. you need some information. Okay. Um, sexy red, thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just glad to get to know you. I was excited about it. And sorry if I've been a little bit nervous. I think I have been, but you ain't nervous. I feel like I was like low key today. No, I thought it's okay. You know, sometimes that's the thing about podcasts. You just kind of show up how you are. Yeah. You know, and that's what's nice about it. I appreciate you just showing up how you are. I appreciate you for having me. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Now I'm just floating on the breeze and I feel I'm falling like these leaves. I must be cornerstone.